Hey everyone, my name is Cullen. I work at Ashenson Ford and today we're going to go over Apple CarPlay and Sync 3. One of the coolest things about Sync 3 is that if you have the USB cable and you plug your device directly into the car, you can essentially use the vehicle as you would use your phone. So you can do things like open Waze Maps, you can open Google Maps, and you can use any of the navigation apps that you'd like to use. You can open Spotify, you can play different playlists, whether that's your daily mix, or you can go to your own library. You can even tap on the icon in the upper right hand corner and see what's playing currently. If you'd like to make a phone call, you even have the phone app and all you have to do is tap that and then it opens up the keypad. You can look at your favorites, you can look at recent calls, you can even go into your contacts list and call people that way. So it's very convenient and there are great features like if you get a text message, you can open that text and the car will read it out to you and you can choose whether or not you'd like to reply. If you'd like to reply, you basically just say yes, you say your reply, say send, and it'll deliver the text for you and you never even have to touch your phone and you never even have to touch the vehicle. When you wanna get back to the home screen, all you have to do is push the Ford Sync button and that'll take you back to the main screen and out of Apple CarPlay. But when you'd like to get back to Apple CarPlay, you just push the Apple CarPlay button and you can essentially use the vehicle as you would use your device again. If you have any questions about Sync 3 or Apple CarPlay, feel free to stop into Atchison Ford. We're always here to help. And if you can't stop in, think about messaging us on Facebook or Instagram, or you can even comment on this video. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.